Monday edition of Fantasy Football Today presented by DirecTV. Lauren Shadi alongside senior fantasy football writer Jamie Eisenberg. Jamie, we're talking at Denver at New England. Denver and defense don't really go together. Does that mean Matt Castle will take his offense to great heights? You know, Lauren, it's hard to say because he's had good matchups before. He had a great matchup last week against San Diego, and we know how that worked out. He's got to do a better job of getting the ball to Randy Moss, getting the ball to Wes Welker. I think the Patriots need to change up their offense, though, a little bit. I think they still think Tom Brady's back there because they're running out four wide receiver sets, not depending on their ground game too much. Asking Matt Castle to do a little bit too much. So I think you're looking at it from a fantasy perspective. He has a good matchup, so roll him out there if you need him. But we'll stress the word maybe because I don't know if you're going to get the type of production that you can expect in a matchup that should be successful for him. Let's talk about Denver now. Denver has really rotated journeyman running back since the Clinton Portis trade. Is Michael Pittman next? You're right. You know, since it was Clinton Portis, it's been Orlando Gary, Mike Anderson, Tatum Bell, Mike Bell, just a whole list of running backs, and Pittman is the next in line. Until Ryan Terrain comes back from his elbow injury, I think we'll continue to see Pittman be a good starting option. And he's got a good matchup this week because New England, not exactly great at defending running backs, not terrible, but I still think you'll see him make plays in the passing game. He's the goal line back, so Pittman's a good starting option this week. A good starting option is anyone on the Patriots a good starting option? A, a question that last year would not be the case. Randy Moss, Wes Welker, besides for them, who are you starting? Well, again, Sammy Morris uh, should be the guy this week. You know, Lawrence Maroney not going to play in this game. I think you'll see, you know, Ben Watson maybe if you need a tight end in this matchup because the Broncos have struggled with tight ends a little bit. But you're starting Moss, you're starting Welker based on their production. And as you mentioned, Castle's got a good matchup. So if you need a quarterback, throw him in there. Who's your boomer best? It's Sammy Morris. You know, I think we saw last week Maurice Jones drew 125 yards two touchdowns against the Broncos. Morris has been the goal line back for the Patriots. He's going to get the majority of touches, and I think he has an opportunity to play well here. Jamie Eisenberg, senior fantasy football writer. Thank you so much. My and thank pleasure. you for watching Fantasy Football Today every Sunday at 11 o'clock. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.